So today I'm going to be sharing with you another yarn review. And I know I've done one from Hobby Lobby and I think I did one from Lion Brand. So today we're going to be talking about a yarn that you can find at Michael's. And I really, I have to just give this away first. I really do love this yarn. It's a really nice quality yarn. And I actually found it because a lot of times I've noticed at Michael's they'll have a display or a couple displays in like their center aisle. And all of the yarn has on there that it's a limited time only. And I think why they do that is they're testing different yarns to see if they stick. And if they do, they will keep it permanently. I have been kind of putting off this review because I did not want to do a review on a yarn that you can no longer find because it was discontinued or something. And I finally saw this yarn is being sold permanently, which is really exciting. So let me just show you what the yarn actually is. So the first thing I do have to say is this yarn now is being sold in a smaller quantity. There is not as much yardage in the one that they're currently selling. This one has um, about, I think, uh, over 100 yards more than what is being sold now, but it is also cheaper than how, how much I purchased it for. So it is the Loops and Threads, and this is the Flex yarn. And so like I said, this is now a permanent yarn with Michael's line because Loops and Threads is Michael's brand of different types of yarns. So I got this one, this is 590 yards, and I got it for $9.99. Now they're selling it, I believe it's 355 yards for $5.99. I am happy they're still selling it. I believe it comes in 14 different colors, which is really awesome because they didn't even have that many colors whenever I bought mine. I think there was maybe five different colors. And the color I have it in is ivory. And I really do love this color, bam, like this color shade because it is, of course, an ivory color, but then there's a little bit of a yellow that goes through it and a dark blue that goes through it. And that's kind of the flex color is a nice kind of buttery golden yellow and a very pretty blue. And I am a huge fan of blue and I'm also a huge fan of yellow. So this yarn was pretty much up my alley with colors. And it is a size four, so it's a worsted weight yarn. This yarn's a little bit unique, and I find that sometimes, I feel like a lot of the yarns I come across are becoming this way, where it's like a bunch of different threads are coming together to create a um, strand of yarn. So that does propose the problem of it splitting. This yarn can split while you're working with it. I am currently knitting with it and I do find that it does split a little bit. I found that it kind of split a little bit more with crocheting because I did also crochet with it. I wanted to crochet a project with it and I ended up ripping it out and knit, started knitting with it because I just did not like the look of the crochet item that I was making. I totally changed the design completely by switching crafts and everything. But I wanted to, I have to say though, I think this yarn is really nice and unique. I don't think there's a lot of yarns like this because it does have the flex in it and which will give it kind of a tweed-ish look to it. And the flex are just kind of a thicker point in the um, thread that is the color. So it's about, it's like there's a bunch of different threads and most of them are ivory and then there's like one thread in there that is the actual color which changes from like a soft butter color to a blue to kind of a, a golden yellow color. So it's kind of a hint of color, it's not full on color. Unless you buy one of the color options that are, is a little bit more bold, then of course you will have a more bold strand with just threads of a different color weaving throughout the yarn. I do have to say it is a really good quality yarn. It is super soft. I do love how soft it is. I believe they're selling this yarn in the baby yarn section of Michaels and I do think it would be a good baby yarn. I don't believe though you can actually wash this yarn. I think yes it has to be hand washed which is kind of a problem with baby yarn. I think because if you're gonna make a blanket for somebody babies tend to spit up. They are, tend to be messy because their baby of course you wouldn't expect them to be clean all the time so I think this probably wouldn't be the best baby yarn because you can't even throw it in the wash you would have to hand wash it which I just think is not a good thing for baby yarn you want it to be able to be washable so I would not recommend this for being a 
convenient yarn in that way because you do have to hand wash it. I am happy. I happen to be making a garment out of it, and I'll actually kind of show you um, what it looks like. So this is just kind of the beginning of my little garment that I'm designing. And I really do love how defined the stitches look and how well the flex are turning out because the flex just kind of blend in with the material. It doesn't like stick out weird or look kind of funky. It blends very, very well. And also the colors blend extremely well and it just kind of looks very nice and natural. It doesn't look choppy or weird like some yarn transitions can sometimes look. And I do love that also Michaels with a lot of their yarn, they'll have a lot of really good sales where you can buy one, get one half off or all their yarns 20% off. So most of the time you can get their yarn on sale or they usually have a coupon, which is really nice to have that. So you don't have to spend full price on it if you're not sure if you're going to love it or not. But I really do like this yarn. I don't really like that it splits. I do not know if there being any knots in the yarn because sometimes whenever they switch to a different type a different skein whenever they are making the yarn if there'll be a knot I find that sometimes some company brands like Hobby Lobby Joann's and Michaels sometimes they tend to have more knots in their yarn but I did not notice that with this particular yarn there's not a lot of knots in it the only complaint I have is when I found the actual center um, end to be able to start my project because I thought that'd be easier than using the outer end because so then it doesn't unravel and sometimes it can be a little more tedious it knotted so bad. It I literally had to like, I pulled and literally all of the inner guts fell out and it was just a mess. I had to have my dad help me because literally it was awful. I have not seen yarn tangle that bad from a middle, from pulling from the middle before ever. And so that was a little bit discouraging because I actually did have to cut it, but so I would not recommend maybe pulling out the middle end, the inside end. I would definitely maybe use the outside one and not find the middle because I think that it'll just end up being a mess. And I don't know if it's just because it's the way the yarn is wound up because it's not like your traditional type um, skein like you would find like Red Heart or something like that. But yes, that was definitely a flaw because that made me not be able to work on my project for about a day because it was everywhere like we had it we had it across a couch a love seat trying to get it where it was not tangly but it was tangled so bad so that is definitely one huge flaw i have to say with this yarn and i would say i just don't know if it's just the way this yarn is wound up or anything like that but definitely if you get this yarn don't try to find the end in the middle just use the outside one but yes, so that's just kind of my mini review on this yarn. I really do like this yarn. It's very unique and different than most of the yarns I have found at Michael's. I don't think it would be a good baby yarn because you cannot wash it. It has to be hand washed. But I think as like a garment piece or something that does not need to be washed all the time and you can hand wash it, I think this would be a really, really good yarn for it, especially if you want something different, something that has flex in it and a little bit of hint of color. And they really do have a beautiful range of colors I was looking at them and there's a really pretty light pink my mom actually bought this in the gray color which was also really, really gorgeous so I can just see so many opportunities with this yarn and I'm hoping that a lot of people try it out and it stays around for a while but yes so I hope you guys enjoyed this yarn review let me know down below if you guys decide to check out this yarn I would love to know and what you guys are going to make with it like I said I'm I'm currently working on a garment knitting a garment with it which I'll be sharing with you guys as soon as I finish. It's actually taking me quite a while to make this garment. I'm really, really slow with it for some reason. Yes, I would love to know what you guys are working on. And so you also let me know that down below. But yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!